Welcome back to eSIM Studios. Apple has banned me. Yes, I've concluded that I am not allowed to use Apple services. That includes iPhone. Now I can use an iPhone, but basically what I'm getting to is I cannot create an Apple account, an Apple ID, an iTunes account. Uh, um, I cannot use their services. Somehow, some way, they banned me. Now I know what it's from, and I've been I've been meaning to make this video uh, for a few weeks. Just hadn't gotten around to it. Um, but today is the day. Today is the day when Apple get finally gets it. Um, and I believe it was through the beeper service. I tried. I have a um, another podcast another show um and with the company with the uh, um publication audio service that i'm uh partnered with i just got off the phone with them a little while ago and they said cool we'll get you on apple podcast no problem i was like sweet um now this is for my other venture right and they said uh just create an itunes account and uh, we, we can, you can start uploading them. So I was like, cool. Um, and I just forgot that I was banned. Now, this, I already knew I was banned, but this just confirms it. Um, let me show you what happens just right now when I try to sign up for an account. It locks up. It buffers. It buffered for a while and then it locked up. I think they got my IP address. Somehow they know not to let me use their services. Um, now, before you say, we'll just use another account. I've tried. Uh, use another phone number. I've tried. Um, now, I've also tried to do it on data off of Wi-Fi because I'm in my home office. I cut off the Wi-Fi and used my data. I tried. Now remember, each time I try, <laughs> it's kind of limited, right? Because I even tried a, I have a number of emails. I tried them all. Um, I also, I was like, well, let me just create, literally go create a new Gmail um and try doesn't work every single time it says it either buffers now that was on the computer i tried it on my phone as well I tried it from different devices um if you remember we actually there was a service and i i know i know why uh beeper right so let me show you i believe my beeper connection uh got me banned Okay, so if you go to my YouTube channel, and I'll probably link this in the description if you want to go back and look at it, but I put out multiple videos on pairing um, your uh, nothing phone to, uh, uh, or showing you how to use the beeper service um, to basically route these messages two iPhones and there's been a long battle between Beeper and Apple because Beeper was allowing I, uh, Android users to message iPhone users. You'll get the blue bubbles, clear videos, clear pictures. It's basically like an iPhone messaging another iPhone when in fact it was a nothing phone. I believe they locked Somehow, again, I turned off Wi-Fi. I've tried a brand, brand, brand new email accounts. I've used uh, a few phone numbers, everything. Wi-Fi, data, different Gmail, different emails. Um, I cannot, and they kicked me out of my old one. They will not let me sign in. I think this is from the beeper. Um uh a fiasco now look at this article look at this article uh, article i got hang on okay so i pulled this article up 
<clears throat> check out this article. So I came across this article and I was like, Did, that confirms it. I knew it. I knew it all along. And I'm going to link this article in the description below. Apple it, it is titled, Apple's War on Beeper May Be Catching Users, Me, in the Banhammer Crossfire. And it, the subtitle says, No one does petty quite like Apple. And that is the truest statement. That is the statement for the day, people. Uh, Apple is Richard Petty. Very, very petty. Beeper Mini, an app that brought iMessage to Android devices, has been taken down from the Google Play Store. Users who utilized Beeper Cloud, I did, a cloud-based solution for accessing iMessage, have reportedly been blocked by Apple from accessing iMessage on their Macs. Not just iMessage on Macs, on, on, on their uh, computers, Mac computers. I'm blocked 1,000%. I can't access my old account. It won't even send me a, uh, if you do your forget password, it won't even send me a, a, a 2FA. And I cannot create a new account. I am 1000% locked out of the, the Apple ecosystem. So I couldn't even use a, a, an iPhone if I wanted to, or an iPad, or a, a MacBook. Uh, the best remaining methods to enable iMessage on non-Apple uh, non devices are Air Message and Blue Bubbles. But they are inconvenient and frustrating to set up. Yes, one of them has you going routing through a MacBook. So not only do you have to use their service, you actually have to set it up. You actually have to have a MacBook available. Um, it basically tells the history of... Uh, everybody knows the history of Apple, but the history of Beeper, and nothing came in, and then Apple uh, squashed that, and then there was a back and forth between Apple and Beeper. Uh, Apple uh, stopped Beeper's um, services from working, and then Beeper's service was down for a few days, and then they come right back, found, found a workaround, and then a few days later, Apple stops that, and then Beeper finds another workaround, and then Apple stops that. So it's just a back and forth, a back and forth, and it's incredibly frustrating. Uh, look, I can live without an iPhone. I can live without an iPad or a Mac. Um, but it's, you know, this channel for certain topics, I would like to have a, uh Apple account just to, um, you know, in, for sake of the channel. Um, and it's, it's also frustrating because... As you know, we've reported on it and talked about it a lot. Apple's going to accept RCS in the future, right? Apple's going to allow the clear photos and the clear videos to be uh, uh, joined at the hip when the new iPhone 16 series comes out later this year. However, the blue bubbles and green bubbles are still going to be present. So even when Apple incorporates RCS into iMessage, when an Android user messages an iPhone user, the iPhone user is still going to see that stupid green bubble. So they're still implementing the stupid the stupid bubbles. Um, that what that's what was so nice about Beeper. Uh, you know, blue bubbles for everyone. But um, it is frustrating to say the least. Uh, I thought I would just get on here and describe my recent revelation and basically proof. And that's why I haven't made a video yet, because I'm like, I'm pretty damn sure uh, that's what's going on. But I didn't really have any proof. And look, I still don't have any hardcore physical proof. There's no smoking gun. But... When you see articles like this pop up, when I see other people online say the same things on the Beeper Reddit thread, same thing, um, just a shame. But um, it is what it is. So uh, eSIM Studios, or I guess not eSIM Studios, I am blocked from Apple services. So, oh well. All right, y'all. I just thought I would share my uh, experience, what Apple uh, likes to do. Very, very petty. But I'll link everything in the description box. Oh, well. Peace.
I guess Android it is, right? Boo-hoo. <laughs> All right.